the most feared defensive player in the entire NFL, all-time sack leader in Cleveland Browns history, four-time All-Pro and growing, and recently a minority owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Miles Garrett, good to see you. Yes, ma'am, you as well. You, we have so much to talk about. You shut out the Cardinals on Sunday afternoon, no big deal, easy peasy, then you're courtside at the Cavs game. Uh, what's it like being the most loved man in Cleveland since LeBron? Uh, I mean, it's an honor. Uh, you know, I see on that video right there for me and my dad you know, uh, enjoying the game. But, you know, being part of this Cleveland community means so much to me. You know, just trying to, uh, like I say, play my roots deep and, uh, you know, try to enjoy you know, all of what this city has to offer. And, uh, you know, really uh, enjoyed you know, getting to know, you know all these different teams, all this, this big community and uh, getting to know, you know, all this history and tradition that they have, and it's, it's been a pleasure that they've accepted me as much as they have. Well, you took a bit of an ownership stake in the Cavs there. You're a further investment in Cleveland where you've made a home. What was, like, the driving force behind that? Why did you want to do that? I know you love hoops. Yeah, I mean, start with the love of hoops. You know, that that runs in the family. But um, I had a good relationship with, uh, you know, Dan and, and, and Nick, Grant, you know, all the people at uh, the Cavs who... You know, been working with throughout, you know, throughout this process, but you know, been a fan of the the Cavs for a while. You know, 2016 and won the championship, and you know, everyone enjoyed that seeing them finally, you know, get one in 2017. You know, I'm in town, they're they're fighting for another chip, and and you know, how they battled and how they fought, uh, even though they came up a little bit short. You know, just it just showed how much you know the the, the team into the city, and uh, they they really you know took a step. Uh, in the right direction and they, they've only you know, continued to do that so love being a part of yeah. know, this organization and being a, have a little ownership stake in it i mean i'm on to you i think you want to play i think you're sort of we you know weaseling your way onto the court at some point right like come on with these skills Miles. You know, I'm, I'm working on my 10-day contract already you know me and, <laughs> me and Dan are, have already discussed this it's just a matter of when not yet. <laughs> I would, we would love, we would love nothing more. As, oh my God, that would be so insane. But listen, as a new owner, that's like your first step into this. Uh, you know, Donovan Mitchell, 31 points in that win against the Warriors. He wouldn't sign a max contract before the season. What are you doing to get this guy locked up in Cleveland, Miles? We were talking about it. It's like, <laughs> he said, if I can give him 15 minutes off the bench, uh, he, you know, we can, we can get this deal signed. So it's, it's a matter of, you know, Finishing what I got to do on the, on the the football field. You know, once I get my chip, I can you know, start working with the, the Cavs to you know get another. Uh, I mean, everybody loves to see that. You went viral with this crossover taunt on the Bengals earlier this year, Miles. This is celebrated in the NBA. Of course it is. What do you have to say to NFL players or fans that are like, this is disrespectful, blah blah blah. Disrespect. I mean, <laughs> call it what you want. I'm I'm just having fun. And you no know, guys know me. You know, I, don't, I don't mean anything by it, but I'm gonna play you know, my way of ball you know, against anyone. You know, I, I know I, people will probably feel like I'm picking on the Bengals, but you know, I, I just love the game. I love to you know really just showcase my talent, and you know, hooping is part of one of my talents. So I'm, I'm gonna you know, bring out those abilities and, and my little you know, routine that, that I do in practice and having fun. I'm, I'm gonna use all of that. Yeah. Shams, who uh, works here at FanDuel, is upset that I just scooped him on the 10-day contract that's going to happen for, for Miles. Sorry, Shams. Get your, you know, you, you beat Woj to it, so we got it all covered. Um, you know, speaking of disrespectful, we have Taylor Lewan on our show <laughs> every Monday. And he'll, he, he, you know, he talks about everybody. We bring you up, and he's terrified of you, but he also says that you guys had a moment when you played him, the only time ever, and it was during your rookie year. Do you remember that battle? I do. Uh, you know, we what? never got to match up again after that. You know, since I've, I've reached close to the peak of my powers, uh, I've been looking forward to that matchup. But uh, you know, unfortunately, things didn't line up. But I, I do remember that that matchup not as fondly as he probably remembers it. No, let's listen to what he said. I thought you were going to say he's lying. Let me look. <laughs> I'm going to give myself some flowers. His rookie year we played, and there was a big back and forth. We were chirping the entire game, but he said I got the best of him, and I never played him since then. So, Miles, if you watch this, brother, it's still 1-0. I'm undefeated against you. <laughs> I thought this can't be true. Did you say that? He got me. 
he got me. I got my sack. He got his win. I mean, I, I wouldn't call it even, but you know, we're we're still going on strong. And you know, if he he wants to make a comeback and we can even this up, no, I'm ready for the challenge. But I, I he he can have his his one. He can have it. I told him he's got to get back, and we got to run this back at some point. He's got to get into the AFC North, and we got to duke this out. Um, you got the first shutout of your career. That was hard to believe, but it's hard to do. 27 zip in that win against the Cardinals. Uh, you check that off your list. Listen, Miles, you still don't have a safety. You don't have a pick six on your resume. Which future scenario is more ideal? What do you want, like a safety on Joe Burrow, an overtime, a pick six off Lamar this weekend? What do you want? Well, I mean, I'll take the touchdown over the safety. You know, we, we, I stripped the ball in the, the end zone, and you know, Tony recovered it, and we we scored off of it. So I'll take that over the safety any day. But, All right. You know, the pick six. I actually had one against the Bears. Not, uh, I guess, not too long ago. It was a couple of years ago now, and uh, they called it back. So no! I know, what the, I know what the feelings like, but I have to get one that that counts this time. Yeah, I mean, can't we can't we give Chicago something nice at least something, something okay has happened for them in the past three decades? Uh, Lamar Jackson this week, you faced Joe Burrow a lot. You play twice a year. I gotta ask you, who are you giving the edge to right now? Right now? Yeah. I mean, I think Joe's coming on strong. You know, I feel like when he's healthy, he's you know one of those guys that can can light you up each and every night. But uh, I mean, Lamar. He do it in such different ways, you know, even if his, you know, even if throwing is not on point that night, you know, he can still you know, rush for 150 and three touchdowns. So it's it's just a matter of he can beat you in, in a couple of different ways or, you know, Joe can light you up for, for 400 and, you know, few people can do that in the league in general. You've sacked Lamar a lot. I think you've take, taken him down, what, four times? Only four? I think it's four. I think it's four. So who, like, uh, are, are you taking Lamar or Joe? Well, I'm taking down Lamar, but you know, <laughs> I'll take I'll take Joe right now as far as. Uh, yeah, he's on fire. You know, who who's got the the nod over the other right now? You're leading the league with four forced fumbles this year. I what that ties your career high for a single season already, Miles? How are you getting the ball out like this so often right now? I'm making a point of emphasis. I'll try to you know. I always be cognizant of you know where the ball is at. You know, even if his back's turned or he's he's not facing me, you know, I'm, I'm thinking getting the ball out. You know, punching, scratching, clawing, and uh, you know, find a way. You know, we got to you know, put points on the board, and it was it was especially important when when Deshaun wasn't playing. You know, we we have to put ourselves in position to to help the offense out, and so we're gonna continue to you know try to make that uh, important to the whole team and drive that home uh, for the rest of the season as well. You have so many interests. You have everything that you do off the field. And then you've had so much success. You're literally labeled as the scariest player in the NFL. Uh, what is success? I'm so curious for you. What is success? What does success look like for Miles Garrett? I heard you talk about MVP, those odds, DPOY. Like, what, what is there to achieve in your eyes right now? I mean, success, at the end of the day, is, is winning it all. If, if you're not, there's... Only one winner at the end of the season. Everyone else, you know, we're also Rams, and you know, there's, there's 31 losers and one winner. That's how I look at it. As far as you know, individual accolades, that's all you know, nice and grand. But you know, you, you might get remembered for you know winning DPI one year, DPOY one year. But you know, everyone remembers who won the Super Bowl. So you know, I, I want to be able to to hold that and, and be able to you know, have a parade with. You know, the city of Cleveland, yeah. you know, a historic 2023 team who, who you know, did it all and brought the, the trophy back to back to Lake Erie. So it, it that's what's most important to me. The individual accolades, they'll you know they'll come as you, you know, continue to play and reach for that that the ultimate achievement. And those scary guys, like the, I'm thinking like the scariest guys in NFL history, you've got the James Harrison, you've got Aaron Donald, you've got Ray Lewis. Like they did win. They brought that title back. Can you do that in Cleveland? Absolutely. And look forward to it. You know, uh, we have all the right pieces, have all the right people. And you know, it's just a matter of, of want to at this point. You know, how bad do you want it? What are you willing to give? And uh, you no know, big thing I've been telling my guys is equivalent exchange. What is it? For, for as much as you want it, how much are you willing to give for it? Equivalent exchange? Mm-hmm. 
I like that that mantra. That's real. That's that's strong. Are, so you do you see yourself as a Cleveland Brown for life? I would like to say that. You know, <laughs> hope they see it the same way. But you know, the way I see it, I see my my career you know, being a Cleveland Brown for however long I decide to play. I gotta say, you're never disgruntled. You're the best player, and. You've broken every major Browns defensive record. You're you're setting up roots here. Like you're do what is the art of never being disgruntled? How do you do that? Or like never having it public? Like is your agent just on top of their game? Like you there's never like a Miles game. Seriously though, there's never like I, I, I respect it a lot. And I think my producers are like, yeah, teach her how to do how to do that. <laughs> what's the art of what's the art of not being disgruntled with sometimes things aren't going your way, as they haven't in Cleveland, let's just be honest here. I mean, the stressing and worrying or being mad, it doesn't make anything better. You know, it always you know, just sucks the energy out of the situation and uh, never makes for you know, a, a good room. Parents always taught me not to not to pocket watch and never worry about things you can't control. At the end of the day, I can only control you know, the things that I'm able to uh, you know, have, have physical you know, contact with. Yeah. So that's you know, me, myself, and I, and my attitude. I go on that field. I, I maintain, uh, you know, optimism and and a positive, uh, positive disposition. You know, go out there playing at uh, at the highest level and the, my highest capability, making sure I, I, you know, uplift my teammates and be the best leader I can. All those things. You no, know, mm. that's what I can control. Uh, whether you know, we're winning and losing, I, I can only have a hand in that. But I, I can't, you know, really, you know be the, the the end all be all for that. So whatever happens, if I gave my all, I prepared you know, my very best and and I, I gave my teammates all that, you know, all that I have, I can always walk away with my, my head held high. It's really good advice. And you're controlling what you control with your defense. And the only team allowing less points is the team you play this week. And hopefully you get your paws all over that Lamar Jackson. Yeah, you're nodding. You already know that, huh? Yeah, I, I know they they've uh, taken that mantle from us. You know, we we came out strong and we had a, a little bit of a lapse for a couple of weeks, but and we're looking forward to you know, continue what we did you know last week into into Baltimore. It's not a good thing that I told you you have four sacks on Lamar and you're not happy with that number. Like I'm just Lamar. I hope you get some good rest. You're gonna have some nightmares <laughs> the rest of the week. Like that's just not a place you want to be if you're Lamar Jackson. Now I want to ask you uh, because you're obviously part owner of the Cavs, but not just that's keeping you busy. And obviously you're so focused on what you can do with this team. But you're also the new face of Mark Wahlberg's lifestyle brand, Municipal. You're wearing the hoodie. I love it. You and Wahlberg became friends somehow. He recruited. You know he's uh, recruited you to be the face of this. Uh, what can you tell us? Well, I mean, I can tell you that me and Mark have you know, been talking about this for a while. We had a relationship for a couple of years now. And oh, you know, with that builds you know, a little bit of a, a, an aligning of like you know, goals. And you know, we share the, the same outlook on you know, kind of you know, athleisure and, and, uh, and uh, what we like in clothing. Mm. So it was a matter of... You know, how can we how can we bring those two things together? You know, how can my my mindset be brought to you know what he's doing? So, you know, giving my output, you know, maybe having my own line, own shoe, you know, allowing allowing my taste to to seep into to what he's doing and, and allow it to blend and, and create something that's that's new and special and how we can kind of navigate our own lane and you know this this uh this market. Uh, he, it's to inspire people to bet on themselves and make big things happen. That's what M Mark Wahlberg created. You're invested, and you can go to uh, municipal.com, pick it up all over Instagram and all that. I think he's just friends with you because he wants you to be a patriot because he can FaceTime craft real quick and try to make that happen. So I'm just friends with him so, so he can be a <laughs> Cleveland Brown. So it, <laughs> he says he always roots for his guy, so I think that makes him a Cleveland Brown. So we'll see. Oh, you got you might see, too. You, you might see Mark at a, a Cleveland Brown game. Ooh. Ooh, I'd like to see that. Miles Garrett, we appreciate your time, of course. Do me a favor on your way out. Give a shout out to Mark and Pam Goldfarb, my producer at uh, Cleveland, huge fans. They're like obsessed and they're watching right now. Mark and Pam. Mark and Pam, love y'all. Y'all <laughs> take care. Kay, have some municipal coming your way. Oh, so yeah. Be on the lookout. You're the best. Go win MVP. Go win MVP. Go rip it out of these stupid quarterbacks' hands. We've got Miles Garrett coming to a Baltimore Ravens team near you. Rated R. Rated R, everybody.